Thank you. We have new nighttime drone images showing us the amazing amount of traffic along the southern border, even in the dark of night. Some groups contain dozens of illegal immigrants coming into the United States unopposed. Correspondent Bill Malugin reports tonight from Eagle Pass, Texas. Hi, Bill. Hey, John, good evening to you. That's right. Look, in just a couple of hours early this morning here in Eagle Pass, we saw well over 500 illegal crossings. This, is this small little border town continues to bear the brunt of this border crisis every single day. For the very first time, a brand new Fox News drone equipped with thermal imaging captures images of mass illegal crossings in the middle of the night in Eagle Pass, Texas this morning. Migrants could be seen crossing the river and walking onto private property, where over 100 gathered and waited for Border Patrol processing. DHS says more large groups are encountered in Eagle Pass than anywhere else along the border. Border Patrol's Del Rio sector, which includes Eagle Pass, has now seen over 450,000 illegal crossings so far this year. That is double the same time last year. In Uvalde, Fox News was with Texas DPS troopers as they pulled over a human smuggler from Michigan. <laughs> Hidden inside his trunk, two illegal immigrants from Honduras, all of them arrested. And in Kinney County, Texas DPS troopers pulled over this van and were shocked when they found 16 illegal immigrants being smuggled in the back. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton says President Biden's refusal to change course is telling. The numbers under the Biden administration have tripled, and they've done it on purpose. They're not trying to protect the border. In Nogales, Arizona, CBP agents seized 276,000 fentanyl pills hidden in a smuggler's spare tire as the car came through the port of entry there. And Border Patrol agents in the Tucson, Arizona sector found five pounds of fentanyl strapped to the body of a 15-year-old boy at a Border Patrol checkpoint. And John, the state of Texas has now deployed thousands of National Guard soldiers down to the border throughout this border crisis. And we are standing in the spot where the body of one of those soldiers was pulled out of the river earlier this year after he drowned while trying to save the lives of what ended up being drug smugglers. The state of Texas says the true crisis is right here, not in East Coast sanctuary cities. We'll send it back to you. All right, Bill Malugin, Forest at Eagle Pass. Bill, thank you.